Let's do something, all right? I am so confident that you can't guess what I'm playing. Okay. That by your turn three, if you can name the archetype I'm playing, you get a floating colorless mana. Just one mana? Gonna do th that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who wants to give you modern decks? We do. <laughs> we love giving you modern decks. Listen, this is episode 50. That means we have done 50 gameplay episodes so far. They take a lot of effort. Thank you for watching them. Yeah, and now we're gonna actually celebrate it by giving away a deck worth of 300 euros. Yeah, up to 300 euros. All you have to do on your end, go on the Shopping Wizard and Commerce Kit, you build a deck first, enter in the Shopping Wizard, run it through, and take a screenshot of when it says the price, excluding shipping. This is the price before shipping. If it's 300 euro or under, you can mail it at shows at cardmarket.com, send it to us, and we'll pick a lucky winner. Yeah, and then once we pick the winner, the way to actually win your deck paid by Card Market is to play against kind of a medium-sized modern deck, I would say. A medium-sized modern deck? <laughs> You're gonna play Junt. Oh, that's not a, that's the best worst deck. Listen, Junt is like 1,500 euro, so if your 300 euro deck can beat it, it's yours. We mail it to you. We can prove it. Here's a video of last time we did a modern deck giveaway of no Hobby Alex opening his so deck. That's so if you want that to be you, don't forget shows at cardmarket.com. We have it down here. You just send a screenshot of the shopping wizard result for the price under 300 euro without shipping included. And you send your deck list typed out. We'll pick one. If it beats John, it's yours. And if you do appreciate the content, don't forget to sub. I know I say it all the time, but a year ago when we started making these, this is what they looked like. The lights were flickering all over the place. Um, we looked silly. We could barely read the cards. We've gone so far since. And that's thanks to people subbing and growing the channel and showing our bosses that this is something worth investing in. So just Please leave a small little sub if you haven't so far and you've enjoyed these videos. But what are we doing today to celebrate, Dolad? Today we're gonna play Modern again, but it's not just any Modern. No, it's something very special. So I picked a cool deck, you picked a cool deck. We don't know what it is yet, but it's gonna be fun. Let's do this. 50 episodes. These take a lot of time to make. If I look at the scope of all of it, that's a lot of hours. Uh, so to celebrate this, we thought, I'd, I'd play the most asked for deck ever since the beginning of the gameplay videos. One of our subscribers, Nuno C, has been asking for mono red equip. Asked for it 13 times, even once, then uh, promised to play it and then didn't, coward. Uh, so we're giving it a spin, finally. It's a bit of a weird one. I'm gonna name a lot of cards you've never heard of before. What we're doing, is we're playing red creatures that care about equipments, and then we're playing equipments to back them up. A lot of the equipments are free they, to equip, so you can just move them around the creature, creatures whenever you play them. I'm playing cards like Goblin Gavalier, who gets bigger for every equipment attached to it. I'm playing Champion of the Flame, who gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It can get the size of an Ulamog. I'm playing Falduk, Keeper of the Flame, which is a pretty funny card to try to draft around in Dominaria, but in this one, if I put a bunch of equipments onto it, I can sometimes swing for lethal turn three or four if I have enough zero drop equipment spells. And one of the neat things is every time Nuno would comment the deck, you would see it upgrade every time sets would release better equipments. Kamigawa has added a few neat tricks to this deck. Uh, I'm playing things like Rabbit Battery. Not only a funny name, it's also a 1-1 haste that can equip on stuff and make it bigger later on. And if they kill the creature, I still have a 1-1. I'm also playing the best name card in Magic, Lizard Blades. This deck is weird. I don't think Talaf is ever gonna guess what I am playing. Uh, let's just give it a spin. Hey, this time I'm bringing Tron. But it's not green, it's blue. It's actually quite cool. A lot of people have started modern with Bluetron and it's went a long time starting from Meridian. So we're gonna pack it and it's gonna be awesome. The game strategy is the same, right? You want to get your, se your seven mana out of the Tron lands, but you're actually not playing many fetchers, you only play expedition map. And then instead of playing the usual big haymakers like Karn and Ulamog and many Wormkar engines, you just play more of a controlling element with repeal and remand and condescend and then kind of easing your way into controlling your opponent with Remind Slaver, Sundering Titan or Carnegie Creator who can get anything else. So the Mono Blue Tron deck is kind of more like a value deck that happens to have Tron sometimes instead of really going for it and needing to have it 
and then you just kind of play a mono blue control deck that can go over the top sometimes when you draw insane. So if it might help you with guessing which deck I'm playing, I'm gonna reveal a Giganta as my companion. Affinity? Possibly. Uh, is, is that your final Jump is that food? your final answer? No, 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 no. I just mumbled, you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want a high roll? Sure. I think I'm going first. It gives you more chance to guess I, what deck I'm playing. I would have put you on the play. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> for the <them>. Really? <laughs> this is off or not? <laughs> All right. Uh, good luck. Have fun. This hand would be pretty awkward if it wasn't for the Kamigawa additions, the equipments that are also creatures. Normally I wouldn't do anything till turn three, but now I get to cover a one drop, into a two drop, into a Valduk, and then equip. I, this is a good hand, let's keep it. Dolph, I think I'm gonna keep. The hand is kinda iffy, we do have two lands, but we have a repeal going along with the land, so if something happens early, we can bounce it. We also have a remand and a relic for some redraws. I think this is not mulliganable. It looks a bit bad, but we have a lot of draws that give us options for something better, and we kind of can stall until we find something reasonable. Okay, me too. You as well, confident? All right. Um, I'm gonna play a mountain. Yes. And remember, you have to guess what I'm playing. Um, I'm, I'm gonna hit you for one. I wanna say if you lightning bolt me, that wouldn't have been <laughs> Okay, you hit me for one. Uh, this is a relatively new card, I've never seen it played. Uh, Rabbit Battery, very good name. Um, it's a 1-1 one -one haste, and I can reconfigure for one red mana, so equip it to something, and when I do, it gets plus one plus one and haste. Mm -hmm. So, you're at 19. It's your turn. All right, draw. All right. I mean, I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag, right? I'll play <laughs> Oh, come on, of course you are. <laughs> uh, and a relic of Prejans. All right, go. Okay, um, I'll untap my rabbit battery. Rabbit. I will play another mountain. Mm -hmm. I'll hit you with my rabbit again. Mm -hmm. 18. 18. And I will play, this is the best named card, a lizard blade. It's a 1-1 um, double strike, and I can re-equip it and equip creature as double strike. Basically the same. I should have picked a deck that looks through your library. That would have been fun. <laughs> Just, Just to get a flo one free floating yeah. mana. It's your turn. I mean, it's a free mana. All right, nothing to exile. Draw. Ooh. Since we do want to interact with our opponent, it's not about like going Tronland, Tronland, seven mana spell and three, because, well, you don't really have those. You kind of do want to play your islands before. So here I have the decision to either play an island to cast repeal or play the second Tron land. But even drawing the third Tron land doesn't give you much of options. So you're not focusing on playing on turn three, you're focusing on playing it eventually along the game and survive until this point. So we're gonna keep repeal up. Contrary to my own heart's belief. Are you not playing a Tron land? Um, I could. <laughs> does it like. hurt? How does it feel? It, it feels bad. Very bad. Okay, an Ouroboro. Uh, oh, oh, it's Bluetron! Da, da, da. Oh. You've committed treason to Karn! I play his little brother, I guess. It's himself, but smaller. Yeah. Less strong. Different timeline. Go. Nothing, okay. I'll untap my rabbit and pair of swords. Lizard rabbit. Lizard rabbit. How do you... I'm gonna play another mountain. Oh, yes. I would like to play my Valduk here and then maximize my damage output on the next turn, but Tolad have sadly played an island and passed the turn, so he's probably holding up counter magic. We're gonna play our more awkward spells instead, keep the Valduk for next turn. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna play a Grafted War Gear. Uh, that sounds very hurtful. So I'm not gonna allow it, for now. Uh, remand. All right, it's coming back to my hand. Oh, draw one. Mm. I'm gonna declare tax. Yes. I'm gonna swing in for three. Yeah. The swords hit you twice. Cha-cha. 15. Pass the turn. All right, draw. Um, so I can play my land, all right? Yeah, as a main phase action, you can try to I guess my deck. Okay, can I reach a Gunta for a second? 
sure. Ah, so smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I can't have double mana pips. No, I know. I just wanted to see your top cyborg. You play mono red, obviously. Maybe. And only, I've only seen the equipment so far, right? I don't know what qualifies as a deck archetype, but I'm taking a long shot here and saying mono red equipment. Why would you name that? Yes, uh, Donald, you get a free mana. When I suggested it, I didn't realize my my cards would be so telling. Um, you mean like the mono equipment and only mountains? Yes. Okay, you get a free floating mana. I could play card now. <laughs> <laughs> Which just, you know what? I'm gonna crack my relic for free. Okay, see, that's a good use. I mean, it's free. Ooh. Go. Okay, that was suspicious. I will play a mountain. Mm -hmm. Tolhoff either has a counter spell or a repeal here. One of the other doesn't matter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to resolve the Valduk. If he counters the Valduk, no problem. We play a rabbit, we hit him in the face for four. But if the Valduk resolves, let's try to put him in an awkward situation where he has to repeal a rabbit. This deck has more to it than I expected. Now that the cat is out of the bag, the rabbit is out of the battery. Yeah, you have a rabbit and a lizard, there's no, no cat. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play a Valduk Keeper of the Flame. I figured. Yeah, yeah I'll give this one a read because it's not likely that you know what it is. At the of beginning of combat, on my turn, oh yeah, from Dominaria Draft, yeah. um, for or each commander. aura or equipment attached to Valduk, Keeper of the Flame, Create a 3-1 red element creature token with trample and haste. Mm -hmm. Exile those at the end step. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with it now? I'm just happy that it resolved. I'm going to still try to get in some damage. I'm going to reconfigure my rabbit battery, equipping it to Valduk. That resolves. I would like to go to attack step. That will not work. Are you going to bounce my Valduk? I actually can't bounce the Valduk. I can only bounce the battery. Oh, the battery, the battery. Battery is bounced. Valduk checks for equipment, which he has none of. Very good. And I'll take two. You'll take two. Go to 13. I'll pass the turn to you. One time. One time. <gasps> well, there's not much to do, I feel like. Except for you don't have Tron. I do not. It, it turns out Tron is much harder to get if you, if you don't look <laughs> if you don't for it. You don't tutor the Tron cards here. Yeah. Uh, we'll play a Ballista for two. Oh, that's not bad. And off you go. I'm quite happy about the Ballista turn four. It's not quite clear what's going to happen with it. It depends a lot what Carl's going to do. We can either shoot both of the 1-1 one -one equipment creatures if they try to equip. We can shoot Vadudes if that seems to be going in that direction. I really would not like to do, like to take any damage. So the more damage I have, the more life I have, the better I feel when I cast Karn and then shut off all the equipment. On tap. I'll draw. Okay, Tolf. I'll tap three mana. Yeah. Uh, you know about this grafted war gear, so I'm gonna cast it again. It resolves. It resolves. Okay, let's do the check. Um, I'm gonna attempt to equip the grafted war gear on the Valduk. Yes. At this point, I'm afraid I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you have to pick one. I think that just happens. I'm gonna play a mountain. That definitely happens. I'm gonna quick the lizard blades. Yeah, now I have to shoot the blades. Yep, blades is dead. Um, I'm going to declare attackers. Will you get trigger the happens? Mm -hmm. I get a three-one elemental trample haste. Yes, it's pretty good. You can shoot it down if you want, especially uh, after you've taken the damage already. No, I will. I will. You will? I will. I after blocking the Valduk, I'm gonna declare attacks. It works. Yeah, block Valduk, shoot the elemental. That's not the order I would have wanted you to do that in, but works. I will pass the turn to you. All right, untap. <laughs> mm, interesting. You say that every time you draw a card. I think that's when you play Tron, you know? <laughs> There's a, I'm not drawing lightning bolts. Lightning bolt would be boring. All right, uh, we're gonna play Karn the Great Creator. Yep. Feels bad when you don't have Tron, eh? Mm. Just paying four. And four mana is produced by your lands. I know. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna animate your Grafted Warrior. So it becomes a three? Yes. Oh! Bye-bye. 
That's a clever play. Thank you. That's very clever. I'm very impressed, Olaf. Well, he's dead. I mean, you really shouldn't be impressed. But... Um, all right. Give yourself well, the credit where it's due. <laughs> I play Academy of Ruins. Yep. And I assume you don't play anything that costs zero mana. So uh, it's your turn. I'm going to drop. Karn is too annoying for the deck. I'm going to have to play a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Hear about that one? Rabbit. There's another one. Oh. Two rabbits. More haste than you thought in the deck. Um, so far, it's Blink not. Mouth next has just entered the battlefield, so I cannot attack with it. And I cannot reconfigure uh, to give it haste because of Karn. So I'm going to boink Karn for five. He feels boinked. He is. I'm going to pay two. Yep. And play cranial plating. All right. And I'll pass the turn to you. This is no longer a creature. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's start with Aether's Rod. Okay. It's a good start. Yep. Draw, draw, draw. And then I have this feeling that. No, we're just going to discard that. Okay. Sad times, but it needs to be done. Well, you, you can always get it back with your Academy Ruins. That's I, why you play that land. I know. And then we're going to play a Chalice for one. Rude. And hopefully it doesn't bite me, but, you know. And then we're going to animate. What is that? That's a numb target. You could animate the Chalice. Hmm. I see you. No, actually not going to animate anything. You go. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna animate my Blink Moth, since it's not an artifact at the time I can pay for that. I'm going to declare attacks. Works. You're tapped out, so yep. I will attack two on Karn, one on you. Darks, Karn goes. Down to 12. And you know what doesn't cost one in my deck? Everything else? Giganta. <gasps> True. I'll put Giganta to my hand, and... We'll take the time to act, to equip one of the rabbits with a cranial plating. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn to you. And you have four artifacts. Four in play currently, yes. Okay, that's definitely not the worst. Otavara, 50 euros. <laughs> Buy it now. Okay, so we need a plan. So we're gonna play another card. Oh, come on! <laughs> not another card. And... We're gonna say plus because I'm not sure what I want to get, and it's your turn. Are you targeting anything with the plus? No. I'll untap. I'll draw. You'll keep on playing cards, and I'll keep on knocking them down, I think. I mean, we need to take out the Karn, but Tolaf clearly has a repeal here, so instead of trying to maximize the damage, um, we're just gonna force him to use repeal and then play a Giganta. Hopefully he can't get rid of that, because that hits for five. I'm just gonna go ahead and declare attacks. Go ahead. Add Karn. I will repeal the one <laughs> that's equipped. The rabbit battery, that makes sense. A rabbit battery goes back to my hand. Um, um, Karn takes one. Um, you know what's tougher to repeal is Giganta the Wellspring. Mm -hmm. It's your go. All right. Draw. Okay. I'm going to plus Karn. Yes. On my chalice. Oh, you have one drop so you want to cast. Okay. It dies. And then I'm going to play an Exhibition map and crack it. Okay. Zip. What could it be? It's a tower. This is my uh, special add-on to the deck. Add if I guess it, do I get a floating mana? If you guess it right now... Do you sacrifice your card? I'm gonna let you draw seven cards. Um, so it's not Mind Slaver, that's something you'd want me to have seven cards with, but that's usually played in this deck. All right, so let me come with mana. I have two, nine mana. Yeah. Emrakul! Do you, does, do you, does that mean you sacrifice your card? No, it means you can draw seven cards. <laughs> you want to draw seven cards. Dolph, I think I'm going to draw seven cards. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. Oh no, the last one was a burn spell. We can still cast. I'm yeah, I hundred <laughs> percent. Um, I'm gonna play lightning bolt with I guess the ET, the cast trigger on the stack. Right, works. So we're casting Emrakul and we're offering seven cards, right? I mean, we we kind of have the game locked up. It's pretty hard to lose from that point. Um, yeah, that resolves. You my turn. <laughs> okay, go. I, well, it's my turn. Nah, you just control nah, it. Nah, 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 nah. Um, so you, your toys for this for this round are an, a, a collection of draft cards: a uh, leather armor, beautiful, another cranial plating, a rabbit battery, yeah, a free blade charger, mm -hmm. another Valduk, mm -hmm. a goblin gavalier, mm -hmm. two mountains. A Shuko, and I draw a card for the turn, and then a Braid. That one's good. Mm -hmm. Cards revealing creature and creature and creature, and all I can think of is like, yep, that's that, that's that, that's that, and that's also that. So, ah, it's like Sudoku. How does it feel? It's like Sudoku? Yeah, you're playing by yourself. We're counting manas, right? So this is... You have six mana to play with, or you could also tap Gigantha. This is basically six mana. I can tap Giganta. Yeah, but Giganta kind of is off limits here. Because I need Giganta. What okay. phase are we going to? Uh, attack phase, please. All right. You may declare my attackers. Uh, please attack Korn. Mm, it's dead. Korn's dead. Oh, oh no. I oh. could have blocked. Damn it. You're distracted by all the cards in your hand. All right. Let's play Goblin Gavalier. I play Goblin Gavalier. Let's play Rabbit Battery. Let's I play Rabbit Battery. <laughs> Let's play Fire Charger. I play Fire Charger. Let's animate the Nexus. With itself? Yes, please. Nexus is a creature. This is a cruel turn. I can play a mountain. Yeah, uh, you haven't played any lands yet. I didn't play a land yet. Let's play a mountain. Great. Let's cast Valdog. All right. Everything works out. All right. So, uh, let's equip War Gear. Are we ready? Okay. Here, who's who's first on the chopping block? Uh, we do on on uh, order. You know. Uh, on so the, rabbit. Yep. Yeah. Equip. Now. Yeah. And then the next one. Oh. Valduk. Oh no, rabbit dies. And the next one. Next. Oh no, Valduk dies. Next. Oh no, Giganta! This is fun. <laughs> Next. Goblin Cavalier! Oh no! Next. Rabbit Battery! Next. Fireblade Charger! Deals one to you. <laughs> you don't want to even deal it to Emrakul? All right, I'm at 19. No, what? And equip Nexus. Oh, not the Nexus. Yeah, and end of turn. This stops being a creature. I don't know if that kills Grafted War Gear. If it dies to the, because it's no longer a creature. You know what? Me neither. I think it does, but if not, write in the comment. You know. You cast an Emrakul. You deserve it. Tell us in the comments if Tolaps is wrong and you're a judge. I'm pretty sure, like, at the end of end of end of turn, like when actually nothing happens when anymore. The game is over. Then this becomes not. This goes away, and then the game realizes we still need to do something, so we gain priority and stuff. I, worst case. Is that your turn? Yes. Oh, right. Right. Now it's your turn. Na <laughs> Now it's my turn, it's true. I get an extra turn after this. That's fun. Um, I'll, I'll try. I mean, I left you with no creatures, right? You got rid of my rabbit battery. I could have given haste to my creatures. I'm gonna play a mountain. I'm still gonna play a champion of flame. <gasps> you drew that. I drew a creature. Um, I am going to play a leather armor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna equip it. Because mm -hmm. it's for free. I can only do it once per turn, though. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I'm going to play... Oh, a Shuko. Haste would have been really bad. Haste would have been so good. Uh, I'm going to equip it here. Yeah. How big is it now? It currently gets plus four, plus four, plus one. So it's a six, six, ward one. Mm -hmm. Ward one, oh yeah. And I'm going to equip it with this. And that will be my turn. All right, answer. Let me see. So this is kind of too big. You're at 19, right? I'm at 19. I'll just draw. Oh, island. Mm. Well, yeah, that doesn't matter. Bang. I go down to six. Uh, yeah, and then I'll cast Mind Slayer, which basically is Emrakul on a stick. 
It, it, it is, um, especially with the Academy Ruins. Unfortunately, I have, I was hoping you didn't have that. I have no constructive responses. Before I concede, would you like to explain why I'm conceding? Yeah, so I'll take your turn. Yes. Which basically means that I'm, this is not like this where you have a turn after, this is like actually your turn. Mm -hmm. So after you, it's me again. And in my turn, I will just put it on my library. So you basically, all your turns belong to me now. Yeah, I, I, I have forfeited forfeited involuntarily all my turns for the rest of the game. And you have an Ember Cool, uh, so I'm very dead. Let's do next game. So just to remind you, as an interlude, that we have a contest. You can win your own modern deck if you just send the list and a screenshot of the Shopping Wizard to shows at cardmarket.com. The deck I'm playing today by Nuno C is 50 euro on card market. You can play a deck that is six times better than that to try to beat Jun. And speaking of 50, is the 50th episode. That's 50 times that we borrowed two decks from a special sponsor. We would like to thank Karma Crow. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell them a bit about Karma Grow? Yeah, so if you're gonna need uh, any singles, if you need deck boxes, play mats, dices, card market tokens, very beautiful, you can order them at Karma Crow. The link you find in the description, you just go there, look through all the stuff uh, you're gonna need and you're gonna find it all. All right, don't forget Karma Crow, great sponsor, but now it's time for me to show you what Nuno C's deck can do. On first glance, it seems like I have a great sideboard against Toralf. I could maybe potentially even bring in like eight cards, but on second thought, a lot of it is actually not as good against Mono Blue Tron as you'd expect. I have Graveyard Interaction. Usually, if he's putting Mangslaver in his graveyard and then bringing it back the next turn, I could snipe it in response. Problem is, he can either bring it back with Academy Ruins and it spawns to me exiling the Mindsaver or just take my next turn. So there's never really a spot where I can ever even hit his Mindsaver with a Tormod script without Tarav making some weird mistake. Also, I've got some artifact hate. Tarav's deck plays a bunch of artifacts, but once again, most of his artifacts are meant to be sacrificed. So I, he can either sacrifice them for their utility in response or I'll never get a good slot to use sorcery based artifact hate. The only three things I can see myself bringing in are the three Alpine Moons, which are actually quite good. Even if I draw all three, I can name all the three Tron lands. But in general, they'll slow him down enough that his kind of combo or his Emrakul will probably not get there. Uh, in exchange, I'm taking out a few of the fun of uh, equipments that are kind of in for fun, and I'm bringing out one of the Greaves, just because it turns out that hurts me sometimes if my opponent can control me. As per usual, Karn, the great creator, restricts a lot of sideboarding options, so we don't have many cards that we want or can bring in. Actually, the more aggressive the matchup goes, the more likely or the more you want to board in some of the tutor targets, which in this case would be Walking Ballista and Engineered Explosives. I decided to take out three cards which seem to me the most unreasonable to me, which is the Sundering Titan, the Test of Talents and the Relic of Progenitus, which just basically don't do anything, especially not given that we don't have much time. And we board in one Dismember, one and no, which I think is kind of meh, but at least it can counter one of the artifacts that are annoying sometimes, I don't know. And we're gonna get one of the explosives because I want to keep the Ballista in the board for Karn. I swear that this will be the last time you control any of my turns. Ever, in any game of Magic, ever. You think? I, I'm gonna try my best. Um, this hand's a little land heavy, but it's got two creatures that care about equipment and two equipments. Um, I couldn't pick a better way to champion Nuno's deck. This starting is quite alright. We have some lands, we have some interactions. We can repeal, we can remand, and we do have one Tron land, so as soon as we draw another one, all of the draws get insanely valuable, so... It's, it looks like a good hand. It's it's definitely not bad. Okay, Tolaf? Yes, Carl. This time, I swear to the the Nuno person who commented, I swear to make them make their deck look better. I'm gonna play a um, Goblin Gavalier. I'll pass the turn to you. All right, draw. Ugh. We'll play an eye. Okay. And say go. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'll play a mountain. Yes. Playing around, I don't know, for Spike. Um, I'm gonna play a Shuko. Yes. I'm gonna attempt to equip the Shuko on the Goblin Gavalier. Works. I'm gonna hit you for four. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Boink. Um, and then I'm gonna play another Goblin Gavalier. Okay. Don't play an Engineered Explosives, please. Mm, let's see. I'll pass the turn. Draw. 
It was not an engine in explosives. Tower go. Okay. We're gonna untap. I'll draw. Mm-hmm. I'll play mountain. Mm-hmm. I'll play cranial plating. So that also gives plus two plus. Oh, it just gives plus two plus it gives, zero. Yeah, the creature would get plus two plus zero, and this would give plus two plus zero. Okay. So essentially, it would be one mana to give plus I'll four plus zero. I'll allow it. You'll allow it. I allow it. Okay, you have a repeal then. I'm going to equip cranial plating on the other goblin cavalier. Mm hmm. I would like to declare attacks with my cavalier. Yeah, I will bounce the one that has the plating. All right, it's best. And draw. Oh, God. Yes. I'll declare tax and I'll one give her four. Twelve. My only goal really is to keep the board clean and then cast Khan the Great Creator because as soon as he hits the board, all of the equipments don't do anything. So the ideal scenario would be to have no creatures equipped, then play Karn. Karn takes some damage, but that doesn't matter because all of those things can't get equipped anymore. And that should buy us enough time to get like to the big haymakers. Talaf, it's your turn. No uh, free floating mana. You already know my, what my deck is. And at this point, we're just gonna play another tower. Oh, Talaf, that's not the right one. I know. Beggars are no choosers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Mr. Beggar. I'm gonna untap. Trummers are no choosers. I'll draw. Once again, Tolov either has a counter spell or a repeal, and it seems like Tolov is playing infinite repeals. So just in case he does have it, let's try to play in a way that makes a repeal as awkward as possible. Um, I'm gonna play a Fireblade Charger. This one, if it's equipped, it has haste. It does. Um, okay. I'm gonna play a Leather Armor. Also okay. Where's my engineered explosives, eh? <laughs> Oh yeah, it'd be so good right now. Um, if you have repeal, the ward doesn't do anything. I don't want to waste my ward. What I will do is I'll equip the leather armor on the Gavlin Goblin Gavalier with the Shuko. How are we gonna deal with all of this? We kind of want to apply Dismember and appeal, Repeal on the same turn. Removing both creatures and also kind of tricking, forcing uh, Carl into tapping all the mana for equipping so none of the creatures get equipped and then we can just play Karn and after Karn is on the battlefield all of those one ones don't do anything anymore. We're gonna repeal the Gavalier. Okay, Gavalier's repealed. Back to my hand. Draw. Mm. That was really unfortunate as there's only one activation per turn on my leather armor, but I will use the one. Oh. Equip cost on my cranial plating onto the Fireblade Charger. I forgot about that. Granting a haste. Yes. And I'll use the zero equip on the Shuko on my Fireblade Charger. Yes. Still has haste. Yeah. Um, and I'll attack you. This currently swings for one, two, three, four, five. I'll take four. Why are you tapping a mana? Because I'll dismiss it. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, you go to eight. Yeah. It's dead. I'll pass the turn. Ah. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Was it a Tron piece? No. No, no. That was something that was later. I think. That's pretty good. We're gonna get the, the bomb out. And uh, nothing costs zero, so we just uh, put it on six. And you go. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'm gonna play. Lizard Blades? Yes. And the Lizard Blades are so great. And a Goblin Gavalier again. You mm -hmm. know about that one, you repealed it. Um, I can't equip any of my equipment, so I'll just pass the turn. We're gonna draw. Uh, Karn, minus two. You may choose an artifact card you own from outside the game. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 it's a good one. Thank you. And we're gonna play it for two. Yep. And then, unfortunately, I have to play Otavara. And you go. The other way to get to seven mana is to just make your land drops. I'll draw. Well, this card, this deck definitely has more defensive mechanisms. 
What are the odds that Tahanif is playing four of a card that just shuts down our whole deck? Listen, normally we'd want to kill Karn here, uh, but Tahanif's life total is getting low enough that with a few hits, I can hit him with a, I can kill him with a top deck Galvanic Blast or Lightning Bolt, and we're playing quite a few of those, so we're gonna play to the life total here. Hope he doesn't draw anything good. I will declare attacks. Sure. Kind of sucks that you have one card that just shuts down this whole deck. Uh, you know how to pick them. I guess I still attack you here. It doesn't really make a difference, and I have burn spells. So I'm gonna go for you. Am I taking two damage is the question, huh? I feel like taking two damage seems bad. All right, uh, let's kill both. Okay, so you're blocking one, shooting the other? Yeah, or just shoot both, doesn't matter. Then I'll play a Goblin Gavalier mm -hmm. and a Champion of the Flame. Another Walking Ballista would be pretty good here. I'll pass the turn to you. Draw. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. One step in the right direction. Here's what I'm gonna do. Sad, but it works. But it's sad, but it works. I mean, it's what we're gonna do. Uh, play Snuff Castle Mage and repeal the Gavalier. Okay. So that means that goes to Exile. Yes, and you draw a card. And we draw, yes. And then we're gonna play a map. It's nice to see Snapcaster Mage and come back. Plus on the map. All right, and it's a 1-1. One, one. Now it's a 1-1. One, one. I'll draw. Yeah, Snapcaster Mage hasn't been around, huh? It's been a while. I'm going to pay one red for Goblin Gavalier. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna declare tax. Yeah, I'm gonna block. Trade. I'm going to pass the turn. All right, draw. Ooh, yes. That's a drawn piece. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get the other one. And plus this and say go. Alright, gonna get a plant, say go. Okay, I'll untap, I'll draw. Mm -hmm. I will hit you for one. Seven. It's a start. Um it's and I'm gonna cool play the also the end. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of mana next turn. I'm gonna play a fireblade charger. Um, let's remount this. Okay. Draw. I'm going to play a Fireblade Charger. Okay. It's glitch in the Matrix. Um, and I'll play a Mountain Pass the turn. All right, draw. Beautiful plant. Please don't have an Ember Gold. 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 <sighs> you bluffer, you have one. You didn't draw it again. Artifact. Instant creature. That's so not that's how magic works, unless you're playing Tron. That's three, so you have to tap ten mana. Are you doing a Gabriel Nassif bluff? Ten. Where you're just setting up the mana? No, you don't have it. Ten mana. That would leave me with three blue. Ten mana. All right, you ready? It's not ever cool. You sure? Oh, come <laughs> on! There's one in your, in your 61 card deck. That's why there's one. Do, do I get to draw seven cards again? Yeah. Okay, I'll draw seven cards. <laughs> this is real magic here. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there's not two Galvanic Blasts in here. I could even remand one. Well, uh, I think Karn still ticks up. We're gonna take it up on the plating. All right, it's a creature. And then also play an Angel Explosive for one. Oh, that's very good. You go. Um, I'm gonna draw a card. <gasps> I can moon the Nexus. Yes, beautiful. Okay, play all your one drops. Rabbit battery. Rabbit battery. Actually, don't play this one. For now. I'll play moon? Not now. Okay. Then play champion. Champion. Yes, sir. Uh, play mountain. Then we're gonna crack this. Okay. Rabbit batteries die, Fireblade Charger dies, deals one damage to you. No, no. Oh, it's true, no. it's your controlling the turn. Deals one damage here. Yeah. This dies. All, all of it. These okay. die. This dies, yes. And I swore you wouldn't take my turn again. Attack? Yes. Oh, it's a creature, yeah. Dies. And then we're gonna play Alpine Moon on Blink Moth Nexus. Oh, you're naming Blink Moth Nexus? No, actually, you're naming Blink Moth Nexus. Very good. I think I'm done here. Okay, it's my turn. 
Um, I need to run, I need to draw a running galvanic blast and... Well, you also don't have artifacts. I'll play an artifact. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can also blow it up with your card. And I'll pass the turn to you. All right. Nothing better than playing a one game of magic. Attack. I'll take 13. Yeah, you go to seven. Yep. And since I don't enjoy anybody having turns but me, I'm gonna get Mind Slaver. Yep. And play Mind Slaver. In response, mm -hmm. I'm gonna deal two to you. Mm hmm. Sure. That's all I got. Five. In response, uh, before you can do it for me, I'm gonna concede. Yes. Good yeah. games. Good okay. games. Tolf, I regret asking you for the 50th episode because I feel like Yamen wouldn't have brought such a mean deck to play today. It's destiny. I looked through the comments and then I just saw the comment. It, it <laughs> saw me. There was some mutual You found feelings. another cruel yeah. person in there. Thank you very much. I love the deck. It's great. Ah, but actually loving the deck, as we sing, you can love the deck and get it for free if you win. Remember, all you need to do to win your own modern deck is Open up your emails, go at shows at cardmarket.com. It's here, it's gonna be in the description, it's gonna be in the pinned comment. Go on Card Market, put your deck list that you've brewed yourself that you think can beat Jun under 300 euro. Forget about the shipping, we don't care about the shipping. Just 300 euro, the actual cards. If you send us a screenshot of the shopping wizard showing that it's the right price, along with a text written out deck list, if we pick it, we'll make a video. If it beats Jun, it's yours, we mail it to you. And also, while you're there, might as well click subscribe. We love it when you subscribe. It's what's gotten us where we are so far, so I'll still keep on saying it. Listen, thank you for watching. It's been a blast. Can't wait to see your decks. See you in the next video.